holder of insanity. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution you can get yourself to. There, ask a caretaker to speak with the holder of insanity. She will laugh manically and run away, appearing to go insane. Follow her, and do not lose her, for losing her would mean you will have to condemn another soul to insanity to reach your goal. She will lead you through an upside-down hallway into a mental ward with bright fluorescent colors. Vague remains of the other condemned caretakers, as well as those who tried before you, lie strapped in beds on the ceiling. As soon as you enter the room, cover your ears so you do not hear their wailing and laughter, or you will share their fate. At the other end of the ward, there is a door. The caretaker will open it for you and then disappear. Do not look for her, because she will be behind you from that moment on, following your every move, occasionally giggling quietly. If you should turn around to face her, she will pull out a knife and brutally slaughter you before dragging you back to the room of fluorescent colors, where you will spend the rest of your days, strapped upside down in a bed, halfway between life and death, becoming ever more insane with each passing hour. Behind the door is a long hallway filled with many dark crevices and alcoves. As you walk down it, you will begin to hear whispering, which will grow louder and louder as you get closer to the other end. If at any time the whispering stops, quickly yell, I simply wish to know what they will do. If you are lucky, the whispering will begin again, and you will be free to proceed. However, if you are not lucky, or if you do not shout loud enough, your mind will be utterly torn apart by the dark forces. At the end of the hallway is a pitch-black door. The room behind the door is padded with dirty mattresses and smells musky and dank. Enter the room, and before you, you will see a man with a mohawk in a restraining jacket that constantly changes colors. He will tell you to nail him to a cross and accept him as his savior so he can be reborn. Do not respond. Instead, ask him a question. There is only one question he will answer to. What is the definition of insanity? He will ask you if he told you the definition of insanity. Do not respond. Do not make a sound. Do not move. Do not do anything. For if you do, no God can save you. He will rip himself out of his restraining jacket and mutilate you for all of eternity with his razor-sharp knife, shouting that you should have listened, only for you to come back from the dead the next day just so he can murder you, over and over and over and over again. Shut your eyes and count to ten in your head. Once you will hear footsteps quickly move to your left, Open your eyes and take the knife out of his pocket. Once you do, you only have a couple seconds to drive the knife through his heart. He will fall down motionless in front of you, and you will feel a wave of happiness and accomplishment wash over you. You will then start feeling dizzy and pass out on the floor next to him. As you begin to drift off into sleep, he will shoot his eyes up and glare at you for a brief moment. You will wake up in front of the asylum, palms around you. There will always be palm trees around you when you wake up, no matter of the country or location on the earth. Look down. You will find a stained knife on your lap. If carrying weapons in your country is prohibited, 
try to conceal it on your way home. Next time you glance at the knife, you will hear the exact same thing he told you before. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? That knife is object 276 of 538. He will always be nearby, watching your every move, until they are brought together.